morning at Gary Bulldogs. This is Miss Ballard bringing you today's AVID lesson. Before beginning this lesson, you will need Cornell notes, a pen or pencil, and your agendas. In your agendas, go ahead and write for today's lesson, Champs Cornell notes. Do this quickly and quietly. Today's lesson is different. It's not just for students, it is also for the staff. And I encourage everyone to take notes on the information being presented. Go ahead and set the timer for two minutes to prepare yourself for the lesson. In your Cornell notes, go ahead and write in your topic, champs. Your essential question is, how can I become a champ in my classroom? Don't forget to put your name and today's date. You have one minute to complete this task. Teachers, go ahead and start your timers. For those of you who have never heard of CHAMPS, CHAMPS is a classroom management system designed to clearly communicate expectations to students. It's not a system of rules and consequences. Its goal is to stop behavior issues before they happen and to always keep students on task. Today's warm-up is what is an acronym? 
Look at the examples below. Teachers, give your students one minute to formulate a response. Go ahead and set your timers. An acronym is an abbreviation formed from the initial letters of other words and pronounced as a word. Some of the common examples are OMG, LOL, FYI, so on and so forth. You use these things all of the time when you're texting your friends. This lesson is filled with acronyms. The purpose of using acronyms is to make communication easier and faster. Although CHAMPS is not an AVID strategy, it is part of PBIS. This is the positive behavior interventions and support system that will be used at this campus, which includes positive classroom practices. STOIC is an acronym that addresses teachers' expectations, and CHAMPS is an acronym that guides students and behavior management. Teachers, this slide and the next are for you. The goal of PBIS is to provide proactive and effective behavioral support for students at the universal level, meaning that we're all on the same page. These things begin by incorporating positive classroom practices, such as an effectively designed classroom, for example, your desk placement, predictable routines, positive expectations, active supervision with prompted expectations, varied response opportunity, and acknowledging expected behaviors. The goal of PBIS is for teachers to be stoic, meaning to provide structure, teach expectations, observe and monitor, interact positively, and correct fluently. The acronym STOIC is derived from the mindset and goal of Stoicism. The goal of Stoicism is to attain inner peace by overcoming adversity, practicing self-control, and being conscious of our impulses. In other words, to be indifferent or unaffected emotionally in order to achieve success. Okay, students, now we're back on you. What is CHAMPS? CHAMPS is a positive approach to behavior management that focuses on creating an environment for all students to be successful. The goals are to prevent and reduce misbehavior, foster respect and diversity, establish clear expectations, promote responsibility, improve motivation, increase academic engagement, develop a common language, feel empowered, and reduce burnout. Let's remember the key word for today is acronym. So kids, this is your turn. Your acronym today is CHAMPS. This is an acronym used for classroom management. CHAMPS can be used in the classroom and also to reinforce behaviors in the cafeteria, hallways, and your elective classes. The C in CHAMP stands for conversation, the H for help, A, activity, 
M, movement, P, participation, and S means that you have achieved success. Please study and know this acronym as soon as possible. Teachers, before students can adhere to your champs in your classroom, you need to first do the homework, meaning you need to determine how you're going to implement champs within your individual classroom. It will not look the same in each and every classroom. So for conversation, first ask yourself, how will students engage with each other during the activity? For help, what's the process for seeking assistance or support if they have a question? For activity, what type of learning structure or format is this activity? For movement, are learners permitted to move about the classroom or should they remain seated? For participation, which behaviors demonstrate active learning? And then S, of course, equals success. So are students successful with their behavior for this task? There are many different examples of ways that champs can be incorporated within a classroom. Some teachers make a poster that has every different scenario where they're doing warm up during their instruction, the group activities, independent work, or if they're in testing mode. You can pre-make these and post them into your classroom. You can also go on several different sites and look up the ones that pertain closest to your classroom environment. Some CHEMPS models already have a blueprint for each activity a particular class may engage in and specify what students should do. Or you can order through Teachers Pay Teachers and other sites for pre-made flip charts that are interchangeable. Just keep in mind that CHEMPS charts will vary from class to class because different teachers have different protocols for asking for help, conducting different activities and procedures. It is recommended that you customize your CHEMPS posters to accommodate the needs and activities for your class. For example, Print your own CHEMPS cards and mark your expectations with closed pens. This allows for various activities in a single class without changing the entire card. This is the model that I have created for myself for my classroom. I have attached the slides in order for you to print these out after you have customized it for your particular class. The next few slides are actually my CHEMPS charts that I created for my classroom. Teachers, feel free to copy these particular slides and customize them as you see fit for your classroom. So we know that the C in CHEMPS stands for conversation. I encourage teachers to work with students at the beginning of the year, trying out different voice levels and determining what is appropriate for each activity. Students should practice a whisper voice, table talk, and presentation voices after the teacher models each. Again, the H stands for help. In this section, students should know how to ask for help regarding their current activity. Should they raise their hand? Should they ask their partner? Are there group members? Or maybe they need to just problem solve and figure it out on their own. Communicating this expectation leads to fewer interruptions. Again, the A stands for activity and lets you know what type of activity you need to complete for the day. This helps students cue into what sort of materials may be needed and what the behavior expectation is. Should they be working independently with a partner, a group, or even a whole group? Usually I use my whole groups when it's boys against the girls or one side of the class versus another side of the class for review and competition type activities. The 
M, again, is for movement. This one will definitely vary between teachers and classes. It is the key in minimizing behavior issues during the assigned activity. This tells students if they are allowed out of their seats or not. Can they roam around freely or as needed to gather supplies, turn in materials, or work on a group project? Can students turn in the assignment once they are finished? It is very important to let them know the expectation for this activity because this can make or break the lesson. P stands for participation. This section lets students know their role in a particular activity. Are they actively listening and taking notes, completing an assignment, or maybe silently reading? And finally, we've reached S, which of course stands for success. Basically, if students follow all steps from C to P, they will model a student that earns good grades, has excellent conduct, gains the trust in their peer groups, earns the confidence of their teachers, and portrays a role model student. Teachers, if you are interested in doing the homework, in order to start incorporating the CHEMS model into your classroom, I will gladly give you this worksheet to think out your plan for your CHEMS in the classroom. Please feel free to email me and I will have that sent to you as soon as possible. And finally, there's only one thing left to say. Are you ready to be a CHEMS? If you have any questions regarding CHAMPS in the classroom, please feel free to ask your teachers to clarify any misunderstandings. I hope you guys have a great day.